you know, this is what I look like now, and this is what I look like just a couple of years ago before I became homeless. Once happy and vibrant, now Deborah Buxton says she's seeing the physical impacts of poverty. I had a beautiful smile. The 72-year-old can hardly afford to feed herself, and at the end of next month, she's losing her home. Every day I, I say, maybe I should just kill myself. I'm not of use anymore. I'm, I'm, why am I here? And then I have to talk myself out of it. Buxton lives in supportive housing in North Vancouver, but the site is being redeveloped, and Buxton is now facing the very real possibility of living in a tent. I've just been praying that to get and, and doing what I can to try to attract a vehicle, because at least if you've got a vehicle, you can sleep, you're mobile, and you're warm and safe. During her career, Buxton worked as an NDP organiser and a negotiator for unions. I never worried about money. I, I just, I did, I was able to live my passion and just be of service. But within a 10 year time frame, she lost two husbands to cancer and her father died. She was making extra money by driving children to after school activities. Then her vehicle broke down. Well, when I lost my car, I lost all that little bit of extra help and that just, I just, I just nosedived into, um, I just nosedived into uh, not being able to survive, never mind thrive anymore. Every month she has to make choices between buying health supplements or paying rent. You know, my life is at stake here. Tuesday afternoon, Buxton told her story to the public safety minister as part of an affordability roundtable, speaking out for others in situations like hers. I just felt like it was, it's so necessary for somebody like myself. At least I can articulate my situation. Seniors advocates say pensions and government supports are not keeping up with the increased cost of living, and many living in their golden years are finding it's anything but. And it's been shocking, and it's been demoralizing, it's been stressful, and um, whew. Alyssa Thibault, Global News.